Hello, my friends. This week, we are going to do one more Halloween project, but we're going to work with bats this week. We're gonna learn a little bit about bats, and then we're going to make a bat. We'll cut it out and paint on it. Let's get started with a book about bats. Let's read about bats. Bats are mammals, just like you, just like me, just like cats and dogs and mice. They have fur all over their body, just like we have hair all over our body. They are mammals, they're not birds. So we're gonna read about bats. Want to know a bat fact? Bats can fly. They have wings like birds, but they're not birds. Bats can also hang. They hang upside down. They have strong toes too. Remember we talked about the owl with strong toes. They have very strong toes. Want to know a bat fact? Bats have fur. A bat rests in a pine tree. Here he's resting upside down from that branch. Bats also have claws. Here this bat is resting upside down from a branch. They use their claws to hold onto that branch really tight. Bats live in caves. They like the caves because they're cool and dark. Bats also live in barns. They like the barns because they are safe and dry. Bats eat bugs. Here is a bat eating a katydid. The best thing I like about bats is they eat mosquitoes. They love mosquitoes. And I think that's terrific because I have lots of mosquitoes in my backyard. Bats also eat fruit. They like the sweet fruit, just like we do. Bats will eat flowers, frogs, birds, and even fish. Bats have pups. Here is a mama bat, and she has got her wings wrapped around her pups to keep them warm. Bats also live in groups, like we do. They live in families. Look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bats all living together. More than a million bats can live in a cave. Bats sleep during the day. Wow, that was just like the owls too. They're nocturnal. So while we're asleep, they're busy at night. And while we're at school, they take a nap. They go to sleep. Bats sleep with their wings wrapped around them like a blanket. They sleep in upside down too, hanging from a tree. Bats are busy at night. There they are, busy, busy, nocturnal, looking around for those mosquitoes to eat. The end. Okay, teachers, we're going to use sponges today, but when they dry out, they're super hard. So what I do is I just get them wet and squeeze as much water out of them as possible. And now they're nice and soft and ready to use. So just kind of do that before class starts. So our first step is to practice our cutting on this bat shape. This is only half a bat. Because the paper's folded, we'll get a whole bat from it. That will make it the same on both sides. We're going to use our scissors. Remember your thumb goes in the small hole and three fingers go in the big hole and the scissors open and shut as we cut. This bat has curves, so we'll have to cut slow and little short strokes. Watch, I'm going to put, hold the paper with one hand, hold the scissors with the other with my thumb up 
and just cut tiny little tiny cuts right on the line. Look how slow I have to cut. Then I'm going to turn tiny little tiny cuts right on the line. I have to keep turning my paper. That's what this hand does. This hand has an important job, turning the paper. My other hand just opens, closes, opens, closes, little tiny cuts. There we go. That comes off. Then I can go back to my paper. This is straight. That will be easier to cut. Little tiny cuts on the line. Look carefully. It's hard to cut on the line if you're not looking. Little tiny cuts. Oh, I have to make sure I stop right there. Little tiny cuts on the line. There we go. One more to go. Little tiny cuts on the line. There we go. All right, that will go in the trash. And watch what happens when I open this up. Oh, I have a whole bat shape. Good job. Take your time and cut with little tiny cuts. Teachers, as the students get finished cutting out their bats, find the piece of paper with their name on it and attach with tape the bat to their paper. Some of them might look a little bit crazy the way they cut them, but that's okay. And then just stick it right on the paper for the next step. We're going to paint with a sponge today. It's different than painting with a brush. With a brush, we dip it in the paint and then we make lines across the paper. With a sponge, we dip it in the paint and we tap, 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 tap on our paper. So we're going to paint today with a sponge and tap, tap, tap. Watch carefully. Here's our bat and your teacher will give you some colors. We're not gonna mix the colors. Remember, we're tapping. So tap, tap, tap in the paint. See how that paint is on the sponge? And then hold your bat in the middle and tap, tap, tap all around the edge. When you run out of paint, get some more. Tap, tap, tap in the next color. There we go and then tap, tap, tap around the edge of your bat. When you run out of paint, you get some more. Tap, tap, tap in the next color and run it around the edge. I'm going to keep doing this by tap, tap, tapping and put some color around the black part of my paper. Not the purple bat, just the black part around the bat. Tap, tap, tap. 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 I'm going to fill up the paper a little bit all around the edges with different colors. See how they're not mixed? They just are tapped. Tap, tap, tap. All around the edges. Tap, tap, tap. All around the edges. And now we're going to let it dry. So teachers, at this point, I double check to make sure that they have some paint around those edges. Some students will completely paint just on the bat, and some students will completely paint just on the background. 
Really, we want it a little bit half and half. Half on the bat, half on the background, because we want to see that edge when we take this bat off after the paint dries. So sometimes I'll go around and just give their bat a little bit more tapping around those little edges if they didn't get it close enough. And finally, teachers, when your bat is all dry, then you can kind of peel it up off the paper and throw away the tape and the bat to leave a resisted silhouette of the bat. Thanks for all your help on this one. Bye-bye.